Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? Welcome to a new video. We're gonna talk about the build, upcoming a build, main build. Amazing build, boys. I know about, I say that about every single build I make, but Hatchet Spear is a different story. First things first, let's start with stat points. I always like to run 200 constitution because of, uh, you know, melee builds, I feel like that's a must. Because you're a lot of tanky with this build, uh, 200 coin as well, so it goes very well. Then we go 150 strength, 150 dex, uh, the dex mainly for the dodge. Strength, of course, for, uh, you know, blocking enemies, but mainly because of the damage. For hatchet, uh, of course, I play again this build mainly around hatchet. Use spear for the skills, the CC buffs and debuffs. Uh, hatchet 3 is looking like this. Uh, the reason why I go Raging Torrent over Running Throw is because Perforate from Spear applies the highest stack of friend, so we don't really need that. I know Running Throw it does a lot of damage, especially with this passive. And uh, you can finish somebody off as well in uh, duels or just fights, but we'll see how it goes. I also have one very good piece I just got. It involves the perk for Raging Torrent, so... I really feel comfortable playing with this build so far. Maybe in the future I might swap uh, Fell Rush and put the points in here for running throw. But we'll see about it because uh, landing root is not that easy anymore. Once they change the angles for hitting the targets back, it's a bit rough to uh, land. Uh, hatch, uh, the spear build is looking like this. Well, let me explain why spear is one of the most broken weapons, the best weapons as well. Always was this always was like this in the game, but uh, the weapon tracking got recently buffed before before it was bad. So it uh, involves mainly a cyclone, which puts slow on the target. It does a lot of damage as well. Has active grit, so other than stuns, nothing can stop you. It gives you stamina per hit, which means if you have more targets around you, you can get from zero to hundred real quick for the stamina. Now we have obviously perforate for applying the rent and also staggers the target. So this is like a knockback CC. This is stagger CC. Skiver for applying a bleed, but it's mainly as a gap closer. I will show you how far it goes. This is the second best gap closer in the game. The first one being le leaping strike from sword is 10 meters. Skiver has 9 meters. And this passive right here, aggressive maneuvers, is best passive, boys. Use ability, you dodge roll, and then you have 20% cooldown reduction for a target for one hit. If you have more mobs around you, more targets, even PvP wars, you can get 20, 40, 60, 80% cooldown reduction. And your cyclone this way has no uh, CDR. Per freight, same story. Skiver, again, applies to the same thing. For war build, I will. I'm, I'm uh, taking out a uh, skiver. I don't really need gap closers other than getting away from gravity wells. But I'm actually going with sweep. But we'll see about that. We have uh, quite a lot of spear users who use sweep, so I might not even need this for uh, healers. So this is the typical build for a spear. Now, when it comes to gear, I will show you a couple of uh, the pieces I have. So this is the leeching cycle resilient. This perk is a must. So the cycle not only gives you uh, the great stamina on hit, applies applies a debuff slow on target, knocks back as a CC, does a lot of damage, but also heals you for the target for the damage done. And if you apply the perforate on the target first, which you should, applies rent, which means you'll deal more damage to the target, which means more more heal from cyclone. So I have resident on all pieces. Uh, this is another. Secondary most important uh, perk, if not the import most important, fortifying perforate, 9.3% fortify, which is a more it, like increasing damage absorption. Targets deal less damage to you for six seconds, and it stacks up three times right over here. I will show you one, two, three. You see the three stacks here. It also it doesn't show how much uh, absorption you have, but it stacks three times. So this number times three, and with this cooldown reduction. You can have perforate and this buff 24-7 uptime. And that's just close my mind. We have these uh, gloves. This is the Garbrol I was uh, telling you about for Raging Torrents. So that's why I use this. Uh, I want to have uh, refreshing evasion or refreshing on every piece for this build because cooldown reduction is insanely strong. Combined with resilient and best would be to get freedom as well for the slow duration. 
production, but we'll see. Now pants, I would need to replace. This is from my old build, Hatchet Boy Gauntlet, but it doesn't uh, hurt at all. I could actually swap to Hatchet Boy Gauntlet for war if needed. So good old resilient light pants, max attribute points. That's what I need. These boots are got. These boots are got today. Uh, strength resilient, keen berserk. I was missing this perk for hatchet. There's only two good perks for hatchet: keen berserk. If you use raging torrent, then refreshing torrent as well. But other than that, yeah. If you wonder about the gemstones, I use double void gauntlet. Uh, sorry, double void because we have quite a lot of void gauntlet users on the server. <clears throat> this random ice is for ice gauntlet because of ice spike. It does a lot of damage. Well, I might put diamond in there. We'll see. Double onyx, triple diamond to have at least over 10% mm, absorption against physical. Jewelry. God roll, second roll. Came up like this. Insane. Divine health. Now, good thing uh, about divine perk. Being a must in this build is because Berserker benefits from this perk. You, you get healed more from Berserk uh, if you have this trait over here. And the refreshing over here, health, no commons needed. You need this for every build. Uh, the ring, another refreshing, hardy. Having more stamina for this build, especially with medium and 150 decks where you where your dodges uh, take away less stamina. Insanely crazy. And then nimble, the stamina region on the earring. Refreshing Ward is the worst one from all the Refreshing Perks, but I'll take it. Now, Purifying Toast, uh, Refreshing Toast could be better, but having a Dispel like this for one, one debuff, there's a lot of debuffs in the game, especially with the introduction of new perks where you can get the uh, Defile on the target if you crit on target build 50% HP or on heavy attack, so this is pretty good. And then you have debuffs from Voyonlet, a lot of them. The Rend... <clears throat> Stamina region reduction from Warhammer, for example, slows as well, burns, uh, poison, everything. Now might have my weapons. Uh, you probably saw my hatchet being a different. It has it is the I have two hatchets. I have either this one or the secondary one where it's the same one, but instead of keen, it is enchanted. Now we'll see. Still testing which one is better, but I just like to have a lot of crit chance because of the passive from hatchet over here, where you get stamina on crit. So you basically never almost run out of stamina. And combined with this passive as well, Adrenaline Rush, you're just uh, almost, almost infinite stamina. If you throw in Cyclone for stamina regen, yeah. Now Spear, I use two Spears. This one for the Skeever trait. You don't really you don't really need this one, but it's, it's not a bad one, especially one we once. And the uh, second spear I use is this one, Keen and Keenly Empowered, again, just like my hatchet, very strong, a lot of damage. Now, going over consumables, I use Strength, Dex, Food, because I use both Strength and Dex for this uh, combination, weapons. Hatchet scales from Strength, Dex, uh, Spear scales from Dex and Strength, so this is very cheap food as well, the cheapest probably, tier 5, so... Yeah, potions, regular HP potion, then region potion. This one again, uh, with this perk on the E-ring, it dispels a debuff. And then I'm using Honing Stones. These, you, these are only tier 3s, but tier 5s give you 7%, I believe, weapon damage, which is quite a lot. Um, I use uh, these Oak Flash Bombs and Gemstone Dust for war. This is elemental damage absorption. And this is physical. Very, very handy as a flanker or frontline. Flanker is my role. Uh, what else we got over here? That's pretty much when it comes down to consumables. So for gems, again, it depends on the meta on your server. We have mm, a lot of boy gauntlets. Ice gauntlets as well, but it's not that bad. So I think I will switch this one. And then again, we have a lot of melee users, Warhammer, Great Axe. Not that many hatchet players at all, nobody will replace that. Now I will do a specific video for my builds in dungeons, specific for, uh, separate for Genesis, separate for Lazarus. So this is like more like a PvP build, because I run a different setup for uh, PvE for dungeons, for speedruns. Now that I'm still trying to get out there in videos. So now let's talk about combinations, the combos. So I always start with a spear, I will show the range of Skeever. If I need to approach somebody, I will just use Skeever. A lot of this that's a big really big range. It also takes for a lot the bleed. Uh I then follow up with birthright, always roll dodge. 
After that, Perforate, Cyclone for cooldown reduction, Stamina on hit, apply the slow, slow, uh, slow to hatch, Berserk, do a regular combo into full heavy attack, into Raging Torrent or Fella Rush, it depends, whatever you run, or Raging Throw. But uh, yeah, then again, Spear if I need to gap close, uh, apply Perforate, Durant, Cyclone as well. You can also create a gap using Cyclone, this knockback, so it helps a lot. But uh, yeah, this, this is pretty much the combo. Also run the passive where you have cooldown reduction on the spear. This helps a lot. Because with this build there is a little window as well if you're attacking one target. Where you have, uh, we're waiting for like cooldown, a little couple seconds. As you can see like the cooldown on, on these skills is absolutely insane. You almost never, you almost never have, have them on cooldown man. And uh, yeah, I think that pretty much covers everything. If there is anything, uh, let me know. I will drop all the links down below in the description. Link for Twitter, YouTube as well. Join my Discord if you want to, guys. I'll greatly appreciate that. But if anything, hit me up anywhere you want. And I will gladly help you out. So, good one. Until next video, take it easy. Merry Christmas, mainly. And bye-bye.